That's him coming at you. Yep, I see him. He would have a cane. He has cerebral palsy. No, you come in. He drove up as close as he could to the door so he didn't have to walk as far because he has the cane. I told him to come on inside and he finally agreed. Meet Dustin McFetridge. He's 26 years old, divorced, suffers from cerebral palsy, and collects social security benefits. He's driven five hours to have sex with a girl posing as a 13-year-old. As you'll find out, this isn't his first time chatting inappropriately with a minor. Our decoy Casey starts to feel sorry for him as she watches him struggle to get out of the car. But then she remembers what he'd been saying online. When you listen to him talking, he really is no different. He still is wanting to have sex with a little girl. Using the screen name Wrestling Dude East Tennessee, he asks the girl if he could be her first at sex. What have you done with a guy? Nothing. Wow. So I'd be your first at everything? Yeah. After he tells the decoy about his disability, he moves on to talking about anal and oral sex. He asks if he can shave her private parts and later makes a rather bizarre request. Send me a pair of your panties. Pick a pair you want me to have and wear them for two or three days straight. For reals? Yeah. He also asks her if he can have a three-way with the decoy and her sister, and he repeatedly asks the girl to marry him. When they make a plan to meet, he tells her he'll bring an electric razor. KBI Commissioner David James watches on a monitor as McFetridge comes into the house. When you first look at him and, and you see him, and, and you could say that I, I felt a little bit sorry for him, a little bit, and then you remember why we're here. You know, whether he has, has cerebral palsy or not. So what's up? Nothing. Nothing? No. <laughs> did you bring the razors? Yeah. So what did you want to do with them? I was kind of confused. I'll show you later. Can you just tell me, please? I won't come here if you don't tell me. I thought you wanted to be shaved down there. Is that what you wanted to do? Yeah, that's what you wanted to. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I'd rather, like, talk about it first so I kind of know. You know what I mean? What, what do you want to talk about, sweetie? Well, like, tell me what you're going to do so I'm, like, kind of prepared. It's just easier to explain it as we go along before I do it. Well, like, what would you do first? I don't know. I'd like to hold you. And then what? And kiss you. That's why I'm, that's why I'm asking you to come over here. Well, yeah, I understand that, but... Yeah, I will not force you to do anything, sweetheart. So I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Well, I I wasn't going to do nothing. You weren't going to do anything? No. Well, why don't I, you tell me what your plan was tonight? Huh? I didn't bring nothing with me. I didn't do nothing bad. And He still was there to molest a child. That's and pretty cool, right? There's no excuse for molesting a child. I don't care what it is. Mm.